सर गुड इवनिंग माई नेम इज भाव्या वर्मा सर माई क्वेश्चन टू यू इज मेनी टाइम्स इन लाइफ वी गो थ्रू सच पीरियड वेर वी लूज अवर होप एंड देर इज एब्सोल्युटली नो मोटिवेशन एंड वी फील वेरी डाउन एंड नो मैटर हाउ मच हार्डर वी ट्राई नथिंग वर्क आउट सो सर हाउ डू यू पुश योर सेल्फ थ्रू दीज वर्स फेजेस ऑफ लाइफ थैंक यू सर कैन यू कैन यू हियर मी आई थिंक आई हैव मेड सेंस ऑफ योर क्वेश्चन Yes, yes, sir. I can hear you. Okay. So you're asking me how to survive those times, right? Yes, sir. Hmm. See, all such episodes come in a particular context, correct? The context has to be of unrelenting struggle. Hmm. So, I'm trying for something, and when I'm trying for something. i find myself upon a lean patch i'm meeting failures things are not working out huh? people are deserting me plans are failing such things happen right and when such things happen as you said there is a certain lack of motivation and deenergization hmm and uh, one wants to still pull through those times what is it that one wants to remember then what is it that one must always remember the context the bigger picture and that is that i am trying for something very important right that i am trying for is something that deserves to be remembered otherwise why would one try for it hmm? i'm pushing towards something magnificent something beautiful something valuable and that's the reason i'm pushing towards it right now along the way i have met with these disappointments now what do i remember the disappointments or the thing i am pushing towards if the thing i am pushing towards ha uh, if the thing that i am pushing towards is not valuable then even the disappointment has no worth the disappointment matters only when the thing that i am trying for is worthy enough right hmm. yes sir now what is more valuable the thing you are trying for or the disappointment along the way remember that the disappointment is contingent upon is dependent upon the value of the thing so the disappointment has to be smaller the value of the disappointment has to be smaller than the value of your target correct so in the moment of disappointment obviously disappointment will be on your mind but what is it that you should remember more please answer next the target that which you are climbing towards that's what you will remember right and when you will remember that then this that you are calling as a defeat or setback will simply be an opportunity to learn hmm because that's a non negotiable the target the target is something so compelling that i have to keep moving towards that at all costs along the way if defeat or disappointment is upsetting me so be it i will not give up on the target obviously the target is love it cannot be abandoned right so this is this is now come to me and, and and this is annoying me what do i do i use it as a resource because i have to go uphill it's a steep climb so i'll take everything that comes along the way as a resource to be used i'll use it as a learning opportunity 
I'll not use it as something that makes me forget my aim, my love. I'll rather take it as something that incidentally came to me and now that it has come to me, it will be put in the service of my destination. So I learn from it. But all this that I am saying holds good only if there is love for the destination. Only if the destination is valuable in the first place. And now you would have sensed why most people are broken irreparably by the disappointments along the way. Because the disappointments become bigger than the target itself. Why? Because the target in the first place was anyway already quite petty. If the target is not worthy enough, then any kind of minor setback will shatter you. Or at least stop you. Let the target be very compelling. And then all the, all the defeats and the difficulties will, will simply be stuff that you will want to uh, take as a learning experience. Alright, this didn't work out. I'll try something else. Because try I will. Because there is a commitment to the target. And it's not just a desire that I want to fulfill. The matter is of love. So I'm not going to quit. Obviously, that's not an option. Come what may, I'll continue moving. Now that I've had uh, this kind of uh, an unsavory experience, I'll go into it. I'll examine it. What is it that didn't work out for me? How do I become a better traveler after this experience? Hmm? Choose your targets very carefully. Life must have a purpose. Do not give it some petty target. When I say target, I, I remember I mean a proper purpose. I mean a destination that can fulfill your consciousness. Hmm? When you will have a noble goal, then no defeat can stop you. You will continue to move, come what may. You know, the, <clears throat> the Vedic literature has a, has a beautiful line. It says, Charanvai Madhu Vindati. It does not say that the nectar lies at the destination. It says, if you continue moving, in that there is madhu. Madhu means ambrosia, nectar. In movement itself is the victory. But you can continue moving irrespective of the setbacks. Only if the target is great. The target has to be something you just cannot give up on. Do not choose anything small or little as your desire or goal or target. Charai veti, charai veti. Keep moving, keep moving. Not as a duty, not as a discipline, but as love. Could I make a little sense? Huh? Yes. Definitely, sir. Thank. That's nice interacting with you, sir. Thank you.